friends, we're here, and this is the Beau Rivage. This is the hotel we stayed in in Biloxi. And somewhere along in here is where Barsev's was, which was the place that Elvis got on the boat and left and went on the fishing trip. And you can see that it's changed a lot. This hotel literally is on the water. You see that? We're at the edge of the back of the hotel, and there's a jellyfish right down there. But they've built these jetties out here and stuff. But we don't know exactly where Barsev's was here, but, but somewhere they say around this hotel right here. And there's photos that I'll show you of Elvis here. If you ever come to Biloxi, stay at the Beau Rivage. It's really nice. There's a really nice pool area right over there and great, great hotel, really nice place. That right there is Main Street. This is Howard Avenue. Now we don't know where the uh, the building was. If this was Main Street, I would assume these would be 100s and then it would go to 200s and go down there. So where that Spetman building is, which is a new building, any all that structure is new. The bank down there is, is original. These buildings are original. So this, if this is not it, I would assume that this would at least give us an idea of what it probably looked like. They told me that it was a smaller building where uh, Bell Brew Sporting Goods was that Elvis came to sign autographs. It was on this street, and I believe that it was in, in this, this block. Now this is a long block. It's almost a block and a half or two blocks, but somewhere along in here, and we're still gonna research and see if we can figure it out, but you can see it shows 700 as the numbers now. I don't believe this is 700 block at all. I believe that this would be 100 and 200 block, if anything. So we're gonna go down there and take a look at the bank on the other end, and that'll give you an idea. That was definitely here when that stuff happened. So we know for a fact that this bank right here, you could see this plaque on the corner. This bank was definitely here during that time, no doubt. And I am sun blind. I can't see anything in this screen right here because it's so bright out here. But I would think that Main Street being there, this would be the 100 block, this would be the 200 block. So it could have even been this building down here, but all these have been changed. 155 is going that way. All these are 700 numbers going this way. And I have talked to tons of people in this town and so far I've not found one person that said, yep, it was here. So we're gonna keep on uh, trying to figure it out. One thing I will say is that the numbers that are on this side of the street are um, odd. So the even numbers would be here, two, 112. So it would have been on this side of the street. It would probably been there, or it could have even been some of these down this side right down here. But maybe we'll be able to figure it out. Odd numbers on that side, even numbers on this side. So I would feel like that it would have been on this side of the street that it was. I wish we could be more definitive. And so far, I've even called a local, uh, uh, what he calls himself a local historian and he couldn't tell me definitively where it was. But it was definitely in this area of street from here to down there. We're at the corner of La Magna and now it is Yellow Jacket Street this way and Brittany Avenue that way. This right here was where uh, June brought Elvis to where her school was. Her school was St. Martin's School and it was on this site. Now, it got destroyed by one of the hurricanes, as you can see, it no longer is here, but this is the site of it. There's now an elementary school way off the road, way back there, and there's soccer fields over here and all that kind of stuff. And to tell you how long it's been, we talked to this surveyor guy over here. He said he's been here for 15 years and he had no idea where the school was, even though it was actually right here. So this is part of the story. On the motorcycle, they did stop here and she showed him the school and he was like, that school is tiny. I went to Hume's and it was giant. We had all these people. And she said, you know, it's a small place. But she went to this school specifically, she actually bust in from Biloxi and she went to this school specifically because she wanted to play basketball. Mm -hmm. So it happened right here. St. Martin School. Right here is the ocean. You recognize it, Biloxi. 
Mississippi Coast Coliseum and Convention Center. June was looking forward to introducing Elvis to her daughter when he came here to open this Coliseum to be the first to play here at this brand new Coliseum. Unfortunately, that was scheduled for September 1977. And you know that Elvis never met her daughter and that never happened. Elvis never made it here. But look at how beautiful that Coliseum is. And it is right on the ocean. You know he would have loved that.